Hi, everyone. Happy Friday. Nice to see you again. Thanks for taking some time to watch this video update. This week, we marked a rather solemn milestone. One year uh, since the coronavirus pandemic really began here in the United States. Uh, it's been a roller coaster of a year full of all kinds of different uh, emotions and challenges uh, for all of us. But we're seeing some bright lights on the horizon. And uh, hopefully we are moving out of this uh, time of difficulty and moving back to something that we might consider to be normal. But certainly um, that normal is going to be a little different than it was before the pandemic. So it's also been one year since I've been making these videos. <laughs> That's also hard to believe. But so many of you have commented how much you enjoy watching them. Uh, so I will continue making them uh, into the foreseeable future as an opportunity for me to connect with you each week and share with you some news about the parish. Today is March 19th, uh, which is the Solemnity of St. Joseph, a great feast day on the church's calendar. St. Joseph uh, is a great intercessor for us, for the universal church. St. Joseph, the foster father of Jesus and the, the spouse of the Blessed Mother and the protector of the Holy Family, also the, the patron and protector of the universal church. So I would encourage you in a special way to pray to St. Joseph today. Uh, and really, uh, as part of your ongoing spiritual life, uh, he's is the patron, uh, the protector of the universal church. He's also uh, a great intercessor for all of us. Because today is a solemnity, which is the highest rank of feasts on the church's calendar, even though it's Friday, you do not have to abstain from meat today. Uh, Canon 1251 says that when a solemnity falls on a Friday, even a Friday in Lent, you do not have to keep any form of fasting or abstinence. So uh, you could go ahead and, and enjoy that today. Have a, have a hamburger for dinner. Or uh, if you prefer, you could also continue your Lenten abstinence. That's completely up to you if you would like to continue that as a private devotion today. This Wednesday, March 24th, will be our second day of reconciliation. Confession will be available from 3 to 5 and 7 to 8 p.m. I would encourage you, if at all possible, uh, to come in the evening hours this uh, Wednesday. Uh, last, well, this week when we had confession, it was very busy uh, from three to five. I understand some folks had to wait for for a little while in order to get to confession in that three to five time frame. But the seven to eight time frame was really kind of quiet. Um, people could work, didn't have to wait very long. And we actually wound up uh, ending a little early. So. I'd encourage if you're coming to confession and you can, maybe think about coming uh, at seven o'clock on uh, this Wednesday, the 24th. It's hard to believe that Lent will be ending very soon. Good Friday is two weeks from today. Um, we began uh, publicizing our Holy Week and Easter schedule last weekend. Uh, it's in my email again this weekend. It's on our website, um, and the insert is also in this Sunday's bulletin. If you're going to be coming to church to get a printed bulletin, I would, as I have been, encourage you to take a look at that schedule. There's a few things that are a little different this year because of uh, everything that's going on. Um, <clears throat> but certainly we're planning a, a very full week, and we will be so happy to have people in church this year for the Holy Week uh, liturgies and for Easter. Uh, it was just sort of surreal last year to think back on that. Um, so we're happy to have folks back again in church this year. I just want to say a word about confession on Good Friday. You'll see in that schedule that uh, I'm offering two opportunities to go to confession on Good Friday. That's uh, something that has not been done here at St. Mark, at least uh, in recent memory. But I think that it is important to offer the opportunity to go to confession on Good Friday, because often people will be moved by that day to come back um, because of like, obviously it's a day of, of great solemnity. So uh, it, if you feel your heart so moved, 
perhaps you might make um, use of that this Good Friday or maybe recommend it to someone else uh, as an opportunity to return to the Sacrament of Reconciliation. Okay, everyone, so that's everything for today. I hope you will have a wonderful St. Joseph's Day. Have a wonderful weekend, and I look forward to seeing you in church, in person, or in line this weekend. God bless you.